Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through the Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we're on lesson 294. My body is a wholly neutral thing. I am a son of God. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use has God's beloved son for what must die? And yet a neutral thing does not see death, for thoughts of fear are not invested here, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use, and afterwards, without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick or old nor hurt. It is but functionless, unneeded, and cast off. Let me not see it more than this today, of service for a while and fit to serve, to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for a greater good. My body, Father, cannot be your son, and what is not created cannot be sinful nor sinless, neither good nor bad. Let me then use this dream to help your plan that we awaken from all dreams we made. This is a little tricky one, isn't it? I'll read it again. My body is a wholly neutral thing. I am a son of God. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use has God's beloved son for what must die? And yet a neutral thing does not see death, for thoughts of fear are not invested there, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use, and afterwards, without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick or old or hurt, but it is functionless, unneeded, and cast off. Let me not see it more than this today, of service for a while, and fit to serve, and to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for greater good. My body, Father, cannot be your son, and this, and what is not created, cannot be sinful or sinless, neither good nor bad. Let me then use this dream to help your plan that we awaken from all, from all dreams we made. All right, so let me try and put this into some normal uh, everyday language for you. Your body is the housing in which your spirit is residing, right? Your divinity, that which animates your housing, your body, is your spirit. And that is who you are. You aren't the body. You aren't the housing. And so what use do you have for it when it no longer functions? You don't. The body is what enables us to experience this 3D dimension that we're living in. It isn't a real thing. It's a tool. So I, I hope this makes sense. Uh, if not, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Uh, you can message me on YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, uh, or also through my websites, lindalamp.com, lindalamp.shop. So I hope you have a great day with this one today, and I'll hope to see you here tomorrow for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.